Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzz.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And not for very long, because if you haven't seen the other videos which I've already posted the last two days or so, the site is actually going for a transition period and a refurbishment period where uh, we won't be uploading anything and the site will be a bit dormant and that's because we're transferring to a new host uh, and the new domain will be StringBuzzWorld.org. So it's going to be slightly different this time around. And I hope you enjoy that site when it's actually launched. But anyways, I've got nothing to really refer to because I haven't put any articles up. So this is just going to be sort of first impressions, really, of this track. And it's not a new track. I mean, the record actually came out uh, last month, maybe early this month. I, I didn't really keep up to date with it because I'm not a big Chainsmokers fan, if you haven't already <laughs> been following the site. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a, I mean, there's a new music video out for it, so I thought I'd just give it a look anyway and, and, and talk about it. So anyways, a bit of background. Oh, the song review, by the way, is All We Know by The Chainsmokers featuring Phoebe Ryan. So if you didn't already know my opinion of Chainsmokers, I mean, it's been their year, let's be honest. They've been blowing up all year. And for me, I don't particularly see why. Like, I've got no qualms with people's subjective tastes and whether they like them or not. This is not against you. Before I get any of this criticism saying that you don't understand and, you know, you're looking into it too too much in depth, but that's what I do. I'm a, I'm a music reviewer. I, I listen to over 40 tracks a day, and I have to tell you whether I like them based on their fundamentals and based on how I feel. And if I don't feel much for them, I'll tell you about that. And unfortunately, the Chainsmokers have sort of been on that wrong side of the coin each time round. I found their music very lazy, very predictable, and each track has sounded very much similar to their last outing i mean this is a group that was made famous really by a track about selfies and it's kind of crazy how they've transitioned into this very serious um pop act really now uh, i didn't see that coming when they originally released selfie i thought they were just gonna be you know one of those one hit type groups i know they've had a change of personnel um but i just i, I didn't see them turning you know blooming into this but they've, they've proved me wrong and, and congrats on that this track round this this time around this track is is better than their last out. It's definitely better than Setting Fires. It's definitely better than Closer. I don't get the big appeal with Closer. I know it blew up massively and it's probably the biggest song of the year, but I didn't really see the catchiness in it and I didn't really see why people liked it all so much. Uh, I saw ARTV's great video on, on the Chainsmokers. I know he actually liked this record, but some of the stuff he said I definitely agreed with, so I definitely recommend you check out that video. Um, sort of summed up the, the feelings I have for Chainsmokers. I find their, their music very lazy. I find it a bit pandering, a bit phoning it in, and it's been a quite annoying to having having to listen to so many of their tracks. But this time around, things are better. That's what I'm trying to get to here. Not great, not brilliant, and not very memorable, but things are better. Uh, I think Phoebe Ryan has is the best vocalist on the album, I think. I didn't like Halsey. I'm sorry. I'm going to offend a lot of fans. Uh, I thought her uh, vocals on Closer were completely forgettable. I didn't like Xylo either. Um, I thought her vocals on, or is it they? I, I'm pretty sure it's her. I'm, I'm not too familiar with the artist, but I thought Xylo was a, a crappy feature, if I'm totally honest. I thought what that added to the original project was a bit boring, but I think Phoebe Ryan has, has actually shown a unique tone of voice and has used her unique tone of voice over this house track. So it's nice to hear something different, something a bit more individualised. So that's nice. I liked her melodies. I thought she performed them very well and I thought she has a seamless falsetto, which is really exciting. I want to hear more by her. But my problem with the track actually comes with the Chainsmokers again because it's so lazy. It's so unbelievably and and and, and, sh and too lazy. It, it's, it's not right that they should be getting away with this because this is you know a verse chorus verse chorus and that's it not a bridge not a pre-chorus nothing like that just verse chorus verse chorus that is so less as a rushed out incomplete song and i i can't stand for it especially being a big prog fan so i'm used to people having you know like verse pre-chorus chorus bridge verse chorus pre-chorus chorus and then instrumental outro all these crazy types of sections and, and in weird sorts of forms whereas chain smokers just don't do any of that they just go they don't even go for a pop song structure they go for literally a nursery rhyme structure which is pathetic if i'm honest and the acoustic guitar i mean all right, let's go into the production here production's bad i mean the the vocals are good they're organic they're raw i like them but the instrumentation just has no life to it the the synths sound crappy if i'm totally honest the bass just doesn't have any impact or wholesomeness to it the uh, ele electric kit just is sounds like any other electric kit there isn't any um 
quirkiness to it or any sort of specific type tri- um, um, tropes to it. So I didn't really find that particularly exciting. And the acoustic guitar, which they use, has ha- had all of its life drained out. It's, ha- it's got no tone to it. And it's practically just being played. It sounds like it's being played on a MIDI keyboard rather than actually being strummed or, or uh, plucked out you know acoustically you know how it should be how it should be recorded with a proper microphone and i imagine it probably was but they've just done way too much production on it and it just sounds lifeless it just sounds like a layer to add to the other layers and i I find their production so boring and then when it comes to musicality i've already mentioned the um the terrible form but there's no decoration there's no transitions that are that exciting there there's no instrumental melodies which i found well, in fact, I don't think there were any in general. There were no harmonies. That I mean, there was a, the, the male vocal harmony and the female vocal harmony, but they were just following each other's melody. I would have liked them to sort of do something a bit more homophonically or, poly, or polyphonically where they sing maybe across each other or, or try some different harmonies out. I would have liked that, you know, just something to flare, you know, add some flair and some spice to this this project i mean i find it so bland to try and deal with i mean this is a better song don't get me wrong it's a better song and i think phoebe ryan has shown her worth here and i'm excited to hear what she does next but chain smokers i've just got no time for at the moment so i'm going to give this one oh it's difficult because i don't want to be disgraceful to phoebe because she's done a good job here um 4.5 out of 10 is probably my best rating for it uh, I know it doesn't quite hit the average mark or the standard mark, but it is better than the last reviews I've given the Chainsmokers. And I, I kind of want to exclude Phoebe from this because, I, I, like I said, she seems like a good artist and I want to hear more from her after hearing this. That's a compliment. That's a big compliment, in my opinion. And so if you agreed with this, then... Please leave a like and comment, comment what you think of the track. I'd love to hear your opinions on both this track, the record, and uh, the Chainsmokers in general. I'd like to hear what you think about them. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you around next time. Bye-bye. 